guys, welcome back. I'm Jeff. This is the Stuff I Made workshop and today I'm making knobs for jigs. Now a lot of people make these type of knobs using plywood cut out of the bandsaw into a star knob, either a hexagonal hole or a square hole cut depending on the type of bolt they use to insert into that. Um, and quite often they do a good job of painting it and making it look like a really nice knob for a jig. So here's a fast and easy way using epoxy. So let's just take a look at the equipment I'm going to be using. Okay, so first of all I have a silicon mould and it is a, a chocolatier silicon mould. I have these bolts that match these threaded inserts so that I can put this into my jig and then the knob, which is here's an example one I made earlier, will allow me to clamp down on this insert into some wood. Okay, I'm using some fast cast um, polyurethane resin, uh, casting resin, and there's part B there. Now the reason I'm using this is because it sets so quickly and for the purpose of this video it would just be useful. Um, I also have some wet systems epoxy but um, that takes a lot longer to cure so I'll be using the fast gas stuff today. One other thing I'll be using is some pigment, some black pigment, which you can just see there. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, I think I've got at least one rubber glove because the pigment is very messy stuff. What we'll do is use these plastic cups here. We'll need three of them. We'll see why in a second. And we'll label them part A. And we'll come up five lines and just as a reference for that line. Part B. There we go. And then this would be the mix. So what we're going to need. I've already shaken these, but yeah, you definitely need to shake these up. This is part A, pot A. Let's have a paper towel ready. This is one of the reasons we use the two separate pots because then you can pour some resin back in if they're not poured in together. Sorry. Then we're going to pour part B. Just being very careful. Pour a tiny bit of that back in. Yeah, that looks about right. Done with that now. So we're done with those. So the next thing is we're going to open up the pigment. It gets everywhere. So we'll take one of the mixing sticks and just take a dollop of that, just mix in the oil on the top, get a nice dollop and leave that standing in there for a second, take the lid, put that back on, that's enough pigment. I've 
also found with this resin that um, you don't get very many bubbles in it. What I found with the wet systems, you, you have to be very mindful of the bubbles, but this doesn't seem to uh, put too many bubbles in it, and it does set so quickly. So we'll just take this over here, that's well mixed, um, that's ready to pour. So now we'll just set up this here, and we'll just put three bolts as close to the centre by eye as we can. Okay, so we're good to go. So now we're going to do the pour. What I'll do is just zoom in down on that now. You can already feel that warming up now. As it's starting to go off, so you have to be pretty quick. Now one thing you want to make sure you do is not touch the bolt with the resin because it runs down the side of it. And uh, it goes into all the threads. It's a nice slow pour. And then the last one. Okay, so we'll just let that set for about 10 minutes. Um, the extra pours I have an idea for. I'm going to making just the things without the bolts, but I have a, an idea for those. So then it's not wasted resin. Okay. And that took literally 10 minutes. Thank you.